What's going on guys, Sam and back with another San Diego Comic Con exclusive review. Today we are taking a look at the Beast Kingdom Batman 85th Anniversary. This is the DAH082SP Batman Returns figure. And this is my actual first Batman that I've gotten. I haven't picked up any of the Beast Kingdom figures, the, the, the dynamic action figures. I think these measure 8 or 9 inches. When I was at Comic Con... I saw some of the new ones that are coming out from the Batman trilogy, and let me tell you guys, they look freaking amazing. Amazing. Now, this is, a again, a Comic-Con exclusive. It's a Batman Returns, different paint scheme on this one. And when I was at the show on a Saturday, I was debating whether to get this, and when I decided to get it, it was the only one left for the entire show. So I'm glad that I got this. So this guy here says, over 20 points of articulation, four interchangeable hands, types, fists, open palm, Gripping object, gripping dart, and cape made made of metal. A cape made of real fabric. Iconic design from Batman Returns accessories. Grappling gun one. So I'm excited to open this. I love the packaging. I love the colors on this. Let's see if this is a pickup or a pass, guys. I do like how they they package this. So it's in a kind of like it almost feels like a Hot Toys kind of. So you have all the in, different interchangeable hands that you can see here, and they're all metallic. I'm not going to take all of these out. Oh, I just dropped one. Oh, I just dropped another one. But I'm not going to take all of these out and interchange them. And then he also comes with some of the um, the little stars, I guess you can say. And then he also has, this is this is supposed to be the communicator, I believe. I think that's what this is where he goes, stop. No, I don't know what, what is this for when he, call, con, when he contacts the penguins, the bats? I don't know. I mean, again, this is based off of Batman Returns. Okay, some items did fall, so he does have the, well, this is one of the hands there, and then he also comes with, uh, let me see if I can get this to to zoom in here, to focus, so he does come with a batarang, and it actually has the, the rope too, but I'm not going to unravel that, and it's got the, the silver ends there, so this is pretty cool, it doesn't articulate or anything, but that's an awesome little touch, and then you also get his grappling gun, which comes out in two pieces. I feel like this is going to be something... Yeah, this comes out in two pieces. I wonder if it's magnetized. I feel like this is going to be something that you will lose if you don't take care of all the pieces on this. But there it is. Is it full together? No, it doesn't. But you have that. And then there's the other side. Hopefully that can get this to, to focus in. There's the other side right there. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And then again, a bunch of interchangeable hands. So again, I'm not going to go over all the accessories that you get. Again, he does come with a bunch of interchangeable hands, some little weapons. Again, like I said, the grappling gun, the batarang, and they all look great. Everything looks great. Said, this one right here is what I'm kind of confused on what this is. I'm not, I, I don't know if this is like a device that he talks into, but you guys can let me know in the comments down below. But I really wanted to just look at the figure because I wanted to see if this bad boy right here is worth picking up. Because like I said, I didn't pick up the 89 one because that head sculpt looked nothing like Keaton. But this one right here, this figure, that looks like Keaton. It does. The mouthpiece, everything. They they did a phenomenal job. The, the black around the eyes is really cool too. And then the blue metallic, man. The metallic colors that they used on this. I mean, look at that. It is so great. The paint apps on this are just fantastic. The blue, the this is like a silver color. Again, all of it is metallic. The big Batman emblem there. The utility belt. Look how cool this is. Again, I don't know if this is magnetized, if this, if this will stick on there. I'm not 100% sure. I thought maybe it was like Hot Toys or something, but no. And again, I, I, I love the Batman Returns suit. I always loved this area right here on how it looks in the abdomen area. And again, the utility belt looks great. Metallic gloves. You have the gauntlets here. This is closed fist on this bad boy. The cloth cape, man. You get the cloth goods cape. Look at that. I love how this looks. And it, yes, yes, it is a bendy wire. So you can get this sucker to flare out. Look at that, man. This is so, and it's a, it's a good quality too. Good quality cape. And then we come down to the lower legs. You got the bat boots with the Batman emblem right there. there is Batman emblems there. There's a the side. There's the bottom. Got a little bit of detailing in the bottom. And then here's the back 
right there. They didn't, well, I was gonna say the blue, the trunks are blue, but they're not. This looks, this is great. This looks really, really good. And again, this is just a variant color of the Batman figure. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get this. And when I picked this up, this is before I saw the, the display that they had at Comic-Con for the upcoming figures. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. I'm not, I, I can't even like, say how great this looks like enough on how great this looks the cowl is just so cool like the paint now as far as articulation goes for this guy right here um let's go ahead and and take a look at the articulation so the arms do go in and out forward and back he's got a bend looks like it almost it looks like it's double jointed upper arm has rotation the hand rotates also has a hinge as far as the waist goes he's got Looks like it is two points of articulation, right, one up in the top and one at the waist. Slight ab crunch, legs go in and out, forward and back, bit double jointed at the knees. I didn't know this thing was double jointed. The foot rotates, he's got toe articulation, I didn't know that. And uh, does it go, yeah, the foot can go up and down as well. And then the, the cowl, obviously there's no rotation here. The only thing that bugs me a little bit is this piece right here, how it's kind of like lifting up so you can kind of see the cape underneath it. but. I mean, this this looks awesome. I mean, you can, that's the only way you can really articulate it, though, if you get it to go up and down like that. This is so cool. So if we were to do a comparison next to a McFarlane figure, you can see that the Beast Kingdom one obviously towers over the McFarlane one, and he's a little bit more wider. And there you go, guys. There's my quick little review. Again, guys, this was more of like an unboxing. I didn't really go over all the accessories and detail, but again, he does come with tons of interchangeable hands and some weapons, but I just wanted to show off the figure because I think this is awesome, and I think uh, the Beast Kingdom figures, uh, what are they calling these again? There's, I mean, again, this is my first one that I've picked up. Dynamic action figures. I think they've come a long way because there's been a lot of hit or misses, especially for the 89 Batman. That's the reason why I never picked that one up, and I was still on the fence for the Batman Returns one. The Flash Batman did look a lot better, um, but uh, this right here looks fantastic. And then again, I saw some of the stuff that was coming out in the future from the Bat the entire Batman trilogy, and it looks amazing. It looks like Hot Toys. So let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you guys think about this. Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? Have you guys picked up any of these figures? And if so, are you a fan of these? I know a lot of people are turned off on these because of the scaling. But let me know your thoughts, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate every one of you. We'll see you soon. Later.